right, just about set to go and towing the slab. Pablo Lopez. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he Leading can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. We'll say Altuve up to hit here. The why to kick the pitch. Just off the outside edge. And we are underway. First day, 7-11. And Pablo Lopez will deliver. And a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Marco going back. Out of here. He wastes no time on this one, and the Astros jump in front. It's 1-0. Jose Altuve packs a lot of power in his swing. The ball just explodes off his bat. Well, you got to love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count, trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. And now it's Alex Bregman. Foul ball. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Right. Swings and misses. Okay. That's strike two. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. And one, one and two. two. strikes and that's the first out nice recovery after giving up the home run. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there and I don't think he was taking it thinking it might be a cold ball or anything I just think he was flat out frozen did not expect that location in my opinion swinging a foul back that's out of play Righty delivers. No. Got a good eye there. Oh. Swing and a miss as he chases one that one darting out of the zone. One out, base is empty. And a one-two again. Bows it back with two strikes. And a pitch. Bows it off, still one and two. And another ball. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Got him swinging. Well, getting a good look at the pitcher here in the first inning isn't a bad thing. I know he struck out, but you can live with that as long as the other hitters in this lineup can learn something from it. Digging in, Yaner Diaz makes the grab, and that's the inning. Looking back at the solo blast that led off the game. It's now a 1-0 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show.
back in Minnesota and towing the mound for Houston in this one Spencer Aragetti what do you look for here yeah he's definitely had a struggle so far this year as evidenced by that inflated whip. Go, go. he's going to have to find a way to the limit the base runners put his team in a position to yeah, win a ball yeah. game so we know he's prepared we know this guy is a competitor and we'll watch how he works in this one Willie Ooh. Castro in the box now no balls in a strike Eric Getty measures six feet two inches 24 years old and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in New Mexico right back to him on the mound sends it to Out. first one up one down and now we take a peek at the Twins lineup. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, but again, that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So Ball. we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring things together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. The wind of the pitch. Ball. That one missed. Ah. And now two balls and a strike. No. Just missed. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And Correa retired. And there are two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit that right there. Good. That front shoulder that coming over here. instead of staying close. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Pena sizing this one up. He's got it. And that is out number three. No runs, no hits, no errors. On to the second from Minneapolis. It's the Astros one and the Twins nothing. Second inning Leading set off, to go. Yeah. Leading off number 28. Number 28. Lopez back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Just oh, no. missed. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog, Joey Mack, sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. and fires knocks that one away and we'll do it again pretty good pitch there to take a rip at he wants to get his arms extended he likes the ball away from him a little bit just not able to square it up way Woo high with that one now two and two to the left and we'll do it again. Foul ball another 2 2 upcoming. Left hand batter waits. Just missing there. And the count's full. Really good take, especially two strikes. Fair ball. 
No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box. Score. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jeremy Pena, third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. Runner takes off. Fought off foul. Oh and two now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. Runner at first with no outs here. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. And it's caught for the out. That is, that is. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder. Fastball for a strike. That's off the mark. And that is ball one. And a pitch. Swinging a foul straight back. Man at first, one away. Mauricio Dubon. Now oh. way inside. Two outs. Would oh, chase no. that time. Spoiled and the count now two and one. At the belt and fires. And there's a foul ball. For Houston, but they hold a one nothing lead. And we're back. And now the first, first baseman, Jose Miranda. The first baseman. There's yeah. a swing and a miss. I think he was sitting on speed there. The line of the pitch. Oh. This is outside. Now one and two. Another ball. That oh, misses yeah. the zone, and it's three and two. Mm -hmm. 
Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Good. Ryan Jeffers hit the plate. Oh, yeah. playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch, just misses. One down, base is empty. Crush, left center field. This one's deep for Gettle. Gigantic blast. His second home run of the series, and it ties it up. It's 1 1. Strike no one. Ball. One strike. Fastball for a strike. Ball one there. Base is empty and a run in. Bottom half of inning number two. And two, that two. one almost got him. Ball. Next offering is downstairs. Push out. Outside and that is ball four. No left field. Man at first with one gone. Manuel Marco now at the plate. Run around the move. That one fouled off. up here in the early going and that one hit to first and foul ball righty to the plate got yeah. him looking that's a strikeout we're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat. And the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone. As a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command. And it got him a punch out that time. Now a chance for Brooks Lee. That's ball. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. to the left side. The throw is wild and it gets away. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And he's going to make it up to second base as that's a two-base error. You know, two out errors are kind of like two out walks and sometimes even worse. You, know, you think you're out of the inning, but all of a sudden, you get another out to get and the offense has a great opportunity. They're looking to take advantage of and make you pay for it. So up next for Minnesota, Austin Martin. That one drifts no, inside. It. Kept 
Kepler, the runner at third, Lee at second with two gone. And okay. that's down and away. Two and all the count. Here it comes. Ooh. There's a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds. They're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And here it comes. Chopped to the ground. Zips it to first. Out. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Twins get one on this homer. All even at one apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at Target Field, field. Yeah. new yeah. inning getting started. The and right now, right Trey Cabbage. Trey. Cabbage. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Ah. And that clips the inside corner. Ball Pitch one. misses there, and the count is one, one, one. and one. And the right hater deals. That's to third. Zips it across. One up, one down. Up next, the second base. So the lineup flips over. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. He's already homered in this game. Altuve has a lot of history with the Astros. In fact, he's played so many seasons in Houston that he's the only player to be named an all-star in both leagues while playing for the same team. You know, Blue Altuve goes back all the way to those Astros days in the NL Central before they moved to the AL West. Pitch misses. Yeah, the count even one, one ball. One strike. fly ball out towards left field. That's back there. Out of here. A home run off the foul pole. Another homer. His second home run of the game. And they grab the lead. It's 2-1. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. down the line and everyone had to hold their breath until it flanked off the ball. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. Bregman yep. stands in now and watches strike one. That's a strike. And it's 0-2. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. One down, base is empty. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Struck out swinging his first time. Jordan. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your Whoa. starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building your bullpens. Here's a 1-1. Foul ball there. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Ball and that's two. outside. And the count's even at two. And a liner out 
into right center for a base hit. And that extends the inning. Backdoor breaking ball, and he no, didn't go the other way with it. Like you might think, but a good swing on it, squared it up nicely. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Yaner Diaz. That's ball for a strike. Swing and a miss. And the count is no 0 2. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost. That one the other way. And that's a fair ball. Alvarez around second, headed for third. Coming home. Now a relay to the plate. And he's out. Okay. Up down, and that ends the inning. Well, it's exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time. And they cut down the run to end the inning. Of the inning, and here's the Twins leadoff guy, Willie Castro. Oh, no. one upstairs. Right hander kicks deals. Ah. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. One one. And a foul ball. Ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. This one in the air center field. Alvarez in position. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one away. The batter number four. Shortstop. Now Correa oh. up to hit. Fly to oh, left his oh, first yeah. time. And a base hit right there. The designated hitter. Number nine. Here's Trevor Larnick. 0 for 1 with a fly. Ball one, no strikes. Correa over at first with one away. That's hard hit in the line. Into the dive, and he got it. The bat, the, the first base. Yeah. So a great diving catch, and that was only possible because of the route he took to get there, right, Chris? Yeah, StatCast shows us just how efficient that route to the ball was. In fact, that's about as good as it gets. Pretty much a direct line to it, and perhaps he was a wide receiver in a different life. I don't know, but, man, great job to hold on all the way through the dive as well. No fumble caused by the ground. Miranda in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Swing and a miss. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Miranda kicks his swing. Now an appeal to first. No swing. He held up Carl Dixon with the call there. And he deals. Two oh. balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Gets a piece and stays alive. The Twins trailing by a run here in the last half of the third. Hold down. In the dirt, runner holds, and it's a full count. And a 
swing and a miss. And that's the inning. One hit, one left. On to inning number four. It's the Astros two and the Twins one. Now it's the DH, number 28. Number 28. The pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Well, these Astros showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Two. Right through there for a strike. Still one relatively one. early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. And the righty deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. Lead off and a retired in the fourth. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. He popped out his first time. Pena's dad played the majors for seven seasons, spending time with St. Louis and Cleveland as a second baseman. Jeremy has a little more power, though. Only needed two seasons to pass his dad on the career home run list for the family. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Out to short. Correa over to first. Out. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. The left fielder, number 10, Joey Loperfito. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder. His first at bat was a strikeout. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. And a foul ball. The 1-1. One -one. And that one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two out spaces empty. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. This one popped up. Miranda moving under this one. And that is that. Nothing doing there for Houston, but they still lead it 2-1. to one. Bottom four, here's the catcher, Ryan Jeffers. The catcher. The pitch. And strike one to the catcher. Well, these twins doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. And that's off the inside edge. And one and one. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Well, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Next pitch is outside. Got it by him for the K. Oh, 
Well, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. Well, that, I'm not sure he was so trying to challenge him, but that's pretty yeah. much what happened. Very hitable yeah. location. We found a way to just get it by him. Now batting Max Kepler. And a swing and a miss. Kepler measures six feet four inches, 225 pounds, and he was born in Germany. And he grounds one back up the middle. Nice grab. Gathers and throws. Got him. Nice play. Diving stop singing. Let's dive into the numbers. Stetkas the symbol. Yeah, Boog, a really good effort just to get his glove to the ball. He found a way to do it and just produce a strong throw as well. So that right there is a great play all the way around. Just really smooth. And first offering is fouled off. This is just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Kicks and deals. He swings and fouls one off. The Twins down by a run. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. In the dirt. And that's ball two. This one in the air. Dubon should have this one. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Offense held a check there. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Astros two and the Twins one. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Mauricio Dubon. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Just off the outside edge, ball one. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely, if he's doing damage now, if he's rolling over and, and grounding out, then it's a different story. But yeah, if he can put the ball in the gaps or over the fence, 100%. strike zone but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now allow him to get that call so hitters are going to have to make an adjustment but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can oh. cabbage batting for the second time and that's strike one yeah and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. Corrals it. And there's two away. Now bad. The, the second base. Jose. Jose. So the Houston Altuve. lineup turns over. Jose Altuve digs in now. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. Popped up. Correa is there. And that'll do it. Astros go down 1 2 3. They lead it 2 1. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now for the Twins, Brooks Lee. Lee. Eric Getty back to work. And fouled off. Swing and a miss. He has 
has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. No, that's the and ball. Count one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Swing and a miss struck him out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the now same page right now. Better fielder. Off there. Off there. And next for Minnesota, Austin Martin. Grounded out his first time up. Fouled off left side. One down, base is empty. And a strike on the outside edge. Popped in the air, left field. Two down. Now back, second base. Really. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. So up next for Minnesota, Willie Castro. Ball, up and no. in, 1-0. and oh. One ball. The no Twins strike. trailing by a run. Last half of inning number five. On the ground the first, Dubon. He takes it himself That's to the out. bag, and that'll do it. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We're through five. It's the Astros two and the Twins one. Top six. Now the third baseman, Alex Bregman. The right-hander back to work. Top of the zone for a called strike. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we were expecting performance-wise. Yeah, but great pitchers like this, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to him, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. But we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such now a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Now it's Jordan Alvarez, one for two. Very high with that one. Ball one. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. The one two. Two two. Wouldn't Hold chase down. that time. Side, and that is ball four. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning plenty of times. Two runners on, nobody out, and they're in the heart of their order. It's just a great opportunity to put up a crooked number. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Pablo Lopez won't go any further tonight. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. On the mound now, Griffin Jack. Gets an opportunity to square off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. Next to hit, Yainer Diaz. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else. Oh, he botches it. Here comes Bregman around third. Third, tag, got him. But a run does 
come in to score. Now back. Number 28. So now the Astros designated hitter. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. One out and a runner at second. Next pitch, not close, up high. Big swing and a miss. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Rounds third. Headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. It's off the mark and he scores. It's 4-1. Everything came together for him. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And stepping in is the speedy Jeremy Pena. And that one pulled foul. Two runs across in the inning, and we're the top half of the sixth. Rip to third. And Nothing you can do about those as a hitter, even though you know that they the still ball. drive you absolutely the crazy. Now the left fielder. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Two outs. Good eye right there. It's a good take. One ball, two strikes. Starting to go up to one, two. A check down at the third. And he went around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. They put two on the board on two base hits. One error and a runner left. Two, three, four due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Astros four and the Twins one. Bottom of the sixth. And here comes Carlos Correa. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown oh. inning. Get that hot team oh, back in there to swing the bats. That one's in there, and that is strike one. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Hunter Brown preparing to come on if needed. Number 74 also getting ready. Strike two. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. And down on strikes he goes. And one out. Away, away, away. Clearly, that was the plan right there. He just wasn't able to put it in play. And that should tell you something as a hitter. Sometimes you're a little too conscious of the inside pitch, and you're not able to cover that outside part of the plate. So, clearly, some adjustments to be made next time. So now here's the DH. Trevor Larnick. Strike Three one. No ball. One strike. One down. Base is empty. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. And a pitch. Just misses with that one. This hitter's been seeing good velocity in the at bat. It's kind of set up for that changeup. He hasn't seen it yet. Looks just like a fastball out of the hand. That's Next the pitch is inside. Two and two. Now a screamer into the outfield. Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. 
Round second, digging for third. The relay, he's in there. Put a really beautiful swing on that pitch right there. Just didn't quite have the combination of launch angle and exit velocity to drive it over the wall. But when you can beat a center fielder like that, you know you hit it well. the cleanup hitter for Minnesota, Jose Miranda, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. There's a yeah. the strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Good eye outside. on that spot. away with a runner at third here in the bottom of the sixth. Light drive. That's a base hit as a run scores. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. One down. Brian Jeffers will hit next. He's already homered here in this one. Ground ball right side could be two. There's oh. one. Over to first. Nate. Safe. Well, he made the decision to try to take it himself at second and then blow for the double play over the first base. But good hustle down the line. You know, it's a toss-up to think if he flipped it, could they have gotten him? I think you just have to go with your conviction. Kepler oh no. up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Right uh -huh. through there for a strike. and fires. Ooh. Got him swinging on the curveball. Picks up strikeout number seven. A run on two hits and they leave one. We're through six full. It's the Astros four and the Twins two. Top of inning number seven. And now the first baseman, Mauricio Dubon. Jacks, 29 years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2016. First offering, and it just misses. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. That's in there. And it got one and two. Line drive. Swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know he didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. So digging in, Trey Cabbage. In there at the knees, strike one.
Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Way one, outside two. now one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And there's two down. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher now for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit. And he looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Jeffers down to first. Out. That completes the strikeout inning over. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Hunter Brown. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Manuel Margot go up to the plate. No left field. The line to kick the pitch. And that one is in for a strike. No ball. Come back into the mound. Over to first. Out. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now batting. Now, third base. Brooks. Now, Lee. Brooks Lee. Well, both sides equally as strong. So, not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Called strike right there. And there's a foul ball. The Astros leading by two here at the bottom of the seventh. Off the plate inside, and the count one and two. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0 2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. Back foot slider struck him out. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it. And that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. And here it comes. And it's fouled away. The 0-2. And that one is lifted in the air. Has a beat on it. He makes the grab. That is the inning. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number Jorge Alcala. And he's been fantastic this year, really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff that's tough to square up. Here's Alex Bregman, one for three. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. Here comes a pitch. And there's a ball. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Ball. No strike. Ball. 
Foul ball. Pop jump. Castro under it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Now that the center field, your Don, your Don Alvarez, the next to hit. And yeah, there's a strike. Power relievers, one after another, oh, come out of the bullpen these days. Got to be ready for that first pitch heater. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Steven Oker warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Stalmont, the right hander, loosening up as well. Check one swing, more. no appeal. Gosh, Boog, I think he's trying to deek the pitcher. There's no way he's thinking he can hit that pitch. Base is empty, one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Base is empty. Goes down looking. Now the catcher up to hit. Gainer Diaz. First pitch and he just misses. Just off the inside edge. And a pitch. Down ball. Just missed. Down. He walked him break. on four pitches. No, just came apart right there. Four pitch walk no, and no, 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 guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Now here's the Astros designated hitter. Swing and a ball popped up on his way over. And that is that. So the Astros leave one, but they still lead this one four to two. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Seth Martinez. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. This is Willie Castro. Willie Castro. The pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. at strike one. Ball delivers outside. In the air, left side. Drifts towards it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The batter the number four. Short stop. Here's Carlos Correa. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Gotta put up more of a fight in this one. On the ground. And that chance handled. To first, yeah, that around. takes care of Correa. The designated hit, Next is the designated hitter, Trevor Larnick. Oh. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The Twins trailing by two here the bottom half of the eighth inning. And inside. that one is inside ball one.
And a pitch. Late on that fastball. Looking very subtle on the mound here in the eighth. One more out, and they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two run lead. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still, one and two count. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And makes the play, and that's out number three. So they make short work of them there. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Astros four and the Twins two. Back at Target Field, and yeah, the batter now, Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena. Alcala back to work. Yep. And that one clips the corner. That's Whoa. off the mark. And now it's even one and one. The ball shortstop two. takes the ball. Ball. Jack swing and he held up. Next off, he's in for a strike. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. One down, base is empty. That oh, one's in there, and it's one and two. Ball. And another ball. Two ball, two strike. Left hand batter waits. Good job to fight that one off. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Righty delivers. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. That one ripped. That's back there. Massive home run, and they boost their lead. It's 5-2. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Stepping in for the Astros, Mauricio Dubon. Ah. On the corner for a strike. Gets ah. the call, and the count is 0 and 2. In the air out to center. Makes the grab and there's two gone. 
the bat, the, bat. the right field. Josh Great. Stamont gets the call from the pen. Now, well, good luck against this guy. He's been extremely number tough number to hit number. this year. His Josh. numbers are excellent. Come on. Trey Cabbage up next for the Astros. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Ball That's two. down and in. 2 0. -oh. Two outs. And fires in a fastball at 95. Oh, That's outside. No. Now three and one. Jose Altuve waits on deck. Huh. See the velocity 97 okay. with that fastball. One run across in the frame so far. You're at the top of the night. Couldn't oh, hit the fastball at the knees. Astros not your run on the solo homer. It's now 5-2. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Josh Hader. He's got some of the best now, swing now and miss stuff going here. right now. He's striking Number out hitters at a very high rate John this year, so Hader. this should be fun to watch. At the plate, Jose Miranda. The first base. So now the hard throwing left hander, Josh Hader, on the hill. And when you look at the start of Hader's career, pretty incredible. Arguably one of the top beginnings to a career for any reliever in history. Great catch, foul ground up against the wall. Plenty of extra carry on that ball to right right there. Almost got out of here thanks to the win. It's whipping right now. He's two outs away. Ryan Jeffers, the next twin up to hit. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Hater at times can have some trouble with command, but it's that fastball slider combo that is so impressive. This to third. Bregman to first. That's an out. Gets the catcher by a step. A couple of pitches and a quick out. Oh, that's that's right. 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 The Kepler. Twins down to their final out. Max Kepler at the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The Twins trailing by three. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. That no, one off the high. mark. Two balls, no strikes. Swing and ground off the middle. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Now left field. Pretty good spot hard and inside, but that's a perfect example of keeping your hands inside the ball tight to the body. The ability to take that back up the middle shows his approach is to use the entire field. That one fouled off. The Strohs leading by three here in the last half of inning number nine. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Oh, two. The Twins down to their final strike. 
on the ground, and this should do it. The underhand flip, and they'll go the short way, and that is the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chompy. We'll see you soon. Fans are.